Uh oh. No way. Nice spot. Heck yeah. Gosh, on the cross size again. Nice. This week, Joey gets out on Logan Martin Lake with our good friend Ryan Harder from Z Man while I explore the waterways in Lake County, Florida in the Harris Chain of Lakes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that. Harris Chain bass, nice and white. On the mag fatties, they love a straight tail worm. Oh, she's mean. Sweetwater, presented by Waypoint. I love the fishing industry because not only do we have fishing partnerships, but we also have people that we really do enjoy outside of just the business side of the sport. And you got a pretty cool experience to, to, to go out fishing with a mutual friend of ours with Z-Man. Our buddy Ryan Harder that works for Z-Man is just such a cool guy. And the whole Z-Man team, I mean, any of those guys, it would have been like fishing with my brother. I mean, they, we're just such good friends and we all get along so good and we all love to catch fish. And so Ryan and I, you know, it was a great opportunity to get out there and fish on Logan Martin and to spend a full day with him, just having a blast teaching him about the Coosa River. Cannot wait to show you my home lake. This place is cool. I've been here, I've been living here for 10 years now. And really? these Coosa River spots, I mean, they're mean. And you're from the Lake Hartwell area? Yep. That, that's yep. where you grew up, Absolutely. Right? I grew up on Hartwell, so we know all about the mean spots. Oh, yeah. We love chasing them. Yep, they are mean. Yep. They, they, they eat it good and they fight hard. Absolutely. That's the key. And they're cool because they, I mean, they can literally live from a foot of water to 20 feet of water. Any given day, you can go catch them doing that pretty much year round. It's yep. crazy. There's some that love living deep and there's some that love roaming seawalls in two feet of water, you know, foot of water. So Man, that's awesome. They're a unique creature. And we might catch some largemouth too. So it should be a fun Sweet. day. I'm excited. We got lots of options. Sounds good. Well, if you want to hop in, I'll just slide you off alongside the dock and, you, okay. and I'll just drop the power poles and cool. we'll roll on out. My name is Ryan Harder and I'm the sales manager for Z-Man Fishing Products. So in my free time back in Charleston, I have two things that I love to do. I love to chase redfish and I love to go up onto Lake Moultrie and Lake Marion for giant bass. The Z-Man Fishing Products is actually located in Ladson, South Carolina, which is just outside of Charleston. It's in a prime location. We're located about 30 minutes from Saltwater and we're located about 30 minutes from the legendary Santee Cooper. So it's the perfect place for a bait company to be able to test out their different products. There we go. There it is. That's a spot. That's a good one. <laughs> back of the creek. <laughs> Isn't that funny? You go to the very, very back Man. of the creek, almost as far back as you can go. That is a catch spot. A good, healthy, spotted bass. That's a really pretty one. Dude, that cross size power finesse is absolutely no ridiculous. <laughs> that thing. That is prime. That's a healthy fish that is in the a back of the creek. Very healthy fish this time of year. Man, that's a nice one. That was fun. I got my jig fix. Thank you, buddy. Look how pretty that thing is. I mean, that is just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, nice. She's mean, too. <laughs> that was sweet. I know Ryan, being from South Carolina, fishing Lake Hartwell, he's probably a pretty good dock fisherman. I know fishing with you on Logan Martin in the past, there's a lot of docks on Logan Martin to fish, and you are no stranger to dock fishing. Ryan is a great caster. I mean, he was really, really impressive. I'd, I didn't really know what to expect. I knew he liked the bass fish, but you never really know how good someone is at fishing until you pull up and you start skipping the jig under docks. And Ryan was pitching and skipping. I mean, he was like shooting little Ned rigs underneath them like you would almost crappie fish. He just has experience fishing so many different ways. It's always cool fishing with friends, but it's always better to fish with friends that know how to fish <laughs> yeah. and that can keep up with you, yeah. if not exceed in that type of situation. Yeah, Ryan was awesome. There you go. Is that a good one? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. There we go. Found a mean one. Yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. 
That thing oh. could eat every bass we've caught so far. <laughs> he could eat every one That's of them. That's a pretty one. Yeah, that is a pretty one. He's long and lean. <laughs> Good work. For more Sweetwater action, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And remember, you can watch any episode, any device, anytime on waypointtv.com. Sweetwater is brought to you by Waypoint TV. Stream the best in hunting and fishing series. Download the app today. Wiley X. B&W Trailer Hitches. Towing Adventure. Battleborn Batteries. Get out there, stay out there. Power Pole. Swift, silent, secure. And by Scales. Every degree of water. You want to come off my right side? Mm -hmm. Throw it right where the arrow's pointing. See the brush right there? It's like 50 feet out. Okay. Oh. I was going to say, I don't think <laughs> that's a fish, but it is. That's a good one. Nice. That's a that feels like a good one. At least it's a lot bigger than anything yeah, I've caught today. <laughs> that looks good. Oh, he's spitting, spitting up, up some shad. Yep. That's a nice one. That's pretty one. A little better. He's not a big fish, but. Like I said, it's a big upgrade from what yeah, I was Absolutely. It's a pretty one. Yeah. Little TRD bugs. That's cool. Nice, healthy spot. That's a pretty one. Yeah. So were you involved in designing the TRD bugs with Z-Man? I helped out a little bit with that one. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a lot of fun getting to work with Z-Man. So How long have you been with them? So I started with Z-Man just under three years ago. Okay. And, um, Started kind of as a sales and marketing assistant and worked my way up and now I'm the sales manager and Heck it's yeah. a it's a pretty awesome gig. So one of the coolest things about working for Z-Man is actually developing the baits that we've come out with over the years. It's really a full team process. It kind of starts with the sales team. We'll have a meeting and say, all right, there's there's a particular profile or a particular type of bait that we'd like to come out with. And from there, we start drawing up sketches. We talk to various pros like Joey and Miles and have them test, test the baits for us, tell us what they like, what they don't like, what things we could tweak about the bait. And that way, when we come out with the bait, not only has the sales team and the marketing team really thoroughly tested the baits, but also our pros. So we know that they're proven products. I think about, there you go. He liked the goat. Ooh, nice. There you go. Not a bad one. Nope. They're definitely growing. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> a little watermelon a little red. baby goat. Yep. Love that. And you got yours exposed. I got this little yep. TRD Bugs rig. Texas Ned style, as they like to call it. So what were you fishing that day when me and Ryan were out on Logan Martin? Well, it's the Harris Chain. I've got a lot of experience out there, and I wanted to mix in a little bit of my past experiences there with some of the current conditions. And one thing about the Harris Chain is the fact that you can fish offshore. There's a lot of brush piles that Lake County has been putting out there. They've got a big initiative as far as artificial brush piles, as well as there's offshore grass, but there's also Kissimmee grass. And Kissimmee grass is a really good type of cover for, for fish year round, and especially during the summertime. Man, this is a perfect example of a wind seam, you know, where you've got real uh, heavy wind coming around a corner and you got calm water back here and then you've got that, that point that breaks up that wind, man. That's just textbook. That's where I'm going to find the fish. I don't know if this point has any fish on it, but if, if there are any fish in this area, they're going to be right there. That's what I'm looking for today. Just a really good type situation where uh, those, those bait fish are getting pushed into those corners and the bass are there to intercept them as they come by. So what bait were you throwing in that semi grass you were fishing? On the Harris chain, I really like to fish uh, straight tail worms. So I was I was pitching and flipping the, the mag fatties. I was throwing the, the plum colored mag fatties. I had a 3 8 ounce. Uh, tungsten weight that I had pegged on there, and I was really just just pitching into that Kissimmee grass, 
just uh, real methodically uh, fishing those those points in the grass and uh, and that's exactly what I was doing. I'm not sure what it is about those Harris chain fish, but they love that straight tail worm profile. Shaker, there he is. There he is. Another one. What did I say? On the point. They love that mad fatties, I don't let me tell you. Not a big one. This is not what the Harris chain is known for right here. This is, I would say that the Harris chain has one of the best average size fish um, in Florida. You know, lots of three pounders, lots of four pounders, and a ton of big ones too. But that was a lot of fun to catch. What's up guys, I'm here with my buddy Ryan Harder and he's actually the sales manager from Z-Man and I'm really excited you're here to you know, walk through this entire lineup of jigs and trailers that I got laying here that Z-Man makes. Absolutely, so we worked with David Walker on this full lineup of cross-size jigs. We did four main profiles. Start off, we did the Power Finesse jig. We've got a flipping jig, a football jig, and the snakehead swim jig. So we've kind of got a different jig for each different scenario that you might want to fish a jig. But one key thing is actually the trailers that you put on the back of these jigs. And I was kind of curious, what trailers do you like to use on these jigs? Yeah, I've got my favorites laid out right here and I'll start with the cross size power finesse jig. Absolutely. I mean, this little profile right here just absolutely catches them. And you know, for me, the TRD bugs is hard to beat on the back of that jig. It really fits that jig perfect. You know, one of the biggest keys to any jig is having a trailer that matches it as far as the size and the profile goes. And that right there, that's just a little creature that's ready to get eaten. I mean, a morsel that's ready to be eaten. That is nasty. Now for the flipping jig, for me, if I'm throwing a flipping jig, really what I like to do is I like to flip it in the winter time a lot. And for your cooler water situations, you want something that's a little more lifeless. A little subtle. And that bat wing really pairs up nice with that 3 8 ounce flipping jig right there. And then now for the football jig, this is something that's kind of unique and I've really not seen many people do this, but I like to throw the diesel minnows on the back of that football jig. And the diesel minnows has such a great, perfect kick to it. Exactly. So when I'm fishing this, what I do a lot of the time is I'm swimming it, you know, fishing it through brush piles and hopping and swimming it. And then I love fishing this jig on grass lines. Now for the swim jig, this one is my little buddy right here. This is the goat, the Z-Man goat. That's an all new elastic bait. The biggest key to me with the goat as a swim jig trailer is the buoyancy. It's gonna keep that swim jig up high in the water column and allow you to keep cracking it and hopping it and almost keeping it there where it's almost suspending in front of them. We've had a blast coming up with that full lineup. You know, it's taken us a while to get this lineup where it needs to be, but now we really feel like we have the right baits for the right scenarios. And it's thanks to guys like you that have been able to work with us on baits like the TRD Bugs and the Goat yeah. and all these different products to make sure they're phenomenal when we release them to everybody. Well, thanks for being here, man. I really do appreciate it. So where can people get these baits and these trailers if they want to check it out? Along with these baits and everything else we make, if you go to zmanfishingproducts.com, you can see a full library. You can see all the different videos and tutorials. We have a ton of articles and blogs that we've worked with our pros and other various people talking about all the different baits, all the different profiles, all the different colors, and really how to use them, where to use them, when to use them and it's just a great resource to go on to. Plus, if there's an oddball color you can't find anywhere else, you can find it on our website, and uh, it's definitely awesome. a good place to check out. Well, I appreciate it, man. Absolutely, man. And the great thing about the Harris Chain, it's Lake County, they do a really good job of improving the habitat, keeping the old Florida feel, you know, that the wildlife, all the different types of birds, and you feel like you're out there in old world Florida. Oh, look at that. Harris chain bass, nice and white. On the mag fatties. Dude, they love a straight tail worm on the Harris chain. And in Florida in general, nice little fish, man. Put him back. Oh, man, it's good to be back. I really started looking for these points that created these wind current seams. And so there were several areas where there was these big Kissimmee grass points that would create these big blocks from the wind. You would see this perfect little current seam, you know, coming through where you'd have all this wind blowing and then you'd have this calm spot behind it. And those areas are just really critical um, to find in that type of situation.
All right, here we are, the sweet spot. This is like right where the, oh, there he is. There he is. Nice. Oh, <laughs> that's a better one. What did I tell you, the sweet spot. I was just about to say, man, this is like the perfect spot right here. This is where I've been seeing all the activity. And, and the reason I said that this is the sweet spot right here is we've got this breeze that's blowing around this corner and then we've got calmer water right here. So those fish are just right in that seam where that, that, that wind starts to calm down. And you get a better fish right there. That's what you get for working through an area twice. They're getting bigger. Nice Lake County bass. Nice. Awesome. Sweetwater is brought to you by Z-Man, the science and art of fishing. Bubba, the ultimate lifestyle. Mercury Marine, go boldly. Motor Guide. The tour is back. And by Lake County, Florida. Real Florida, real close. So it sounds like you and Ryan had a pretty productive day. It, it, did you guys just stick with what you were doing or did you try something different? One of the things I love to do is to go down and fish at the dam. So I took Ryan down there and fishing in current, you know, being from Lake Hartwell, that's not a very current driven lake. And so I wanted to show him how to fish that current, how to flush the bait down over the structures and how to catch those spotted bass that were sitting down there on them. There you go. There go. Might be a bass there. Okay. Might be a bass. Come here, buddy. Don't jump. Oh, nice. oh that's a nice one. That is awesome. That is a pretty that is a spot right there. Pretty Coosa River bass. Good fish, man. Nice. That Sweet. one's selfie worthy. I'm That's feeling true. it. <laughs> that is so awesome. Next time I, I, I really want to take Ryan fishing because he sounds like he knows what he's doing. Oh yeah. And he's, he, I, I know how he is. He's got to be a blast to fish with. He really is, man. Zeke and Eli love him and I love the guy. He's a great dude and he just knows how to catch fish. And like you said, he is the perfect person to take fishing. There we go. Nice. That'll be a bass, I'm sure, on the drop shot. Sounds like a good one. Oh, oh no. Nope. the wall. Nope. <laughs> like I said, they are normally pretty dang healthy. Oh, look at that, he just threw up a shad. Oh my gosh, he just that. threw up like, look yeah, at all these. Look at all these little shad. Oh that is God. crazy. And look at how, how much almost identical rough, yeah. to the Gobi Brine color. And that smelt color you were yeah. throwing earlier. Look Man, that, that is perfect. So the color selection for Elastec is actually really unique. We have to develop each one of our colors on an individual basis and we've got a guy at the office named Jolie and that's one of his jobs is actually figuring out what glitters and what dyes are going to make Elastec look the way it does. You know for a lot of companies they basically can pull out a formula book and figure out okay if we add these glitters it's going to make the bait look like this. Well, with Elastec it's totally different so we've got to use different glitters, different dyes and we really get to customize the colors and that's why we have so many awesome colors. You know, I've spent a lot of time in Florida too, and I know that grass is definitely the predominant thing you fish down there. It's just, it's what is the most available, but I know there's also some other ways to catch them on the Harris chain and all across the state of Florida. Especially in the Harris chain, you know, there's other things to do. And, and one of the things is, is fish brush piles because brush piles are more and more prevalent. They're getting more and more productive. A lot of the fish that were in the grass exclusively have now moved offshore. They learned. And, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, so I wanted to try some of the brush pile fishing and it's really not hard to find the brush piles because there's a lot of brush piles that Lake County has been putting out there. They've got a big initiative as far as uh, artificial uh, brush piles. And and all you have to do is look for the fish attractor markers. <laughs> they, <laughs> that makes mark, it easy. they mark all the fish attractors. There he is. That's a better one. That's a good fish. Oh, don't go. Don't jump. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man, look how white these fish are. Come on in here, girl. Yeah. 
they get offshore out here in this dirtier water, man, they just turn white like that. And, and a lot of times, you know, when you, you catch fish that have that real pale white side, um, that means that, that there's probably a lot of fish down there. They're, they're generally schooling together. Put him back. Brush and bass just go hand in hand no matter where you are in the country. And that's cool that you were doing that in Florida, but I mean, the Coosa River is known for being an awesome brush fishing system. Uh oh, no way. Oh my God. Oh, you got one in my pile. That's awesome. Dude. Is it a good one? Yeah, I think I got him out. Yep. There we go. There he is. Awesome. That's a nice spot. Heck yeah. Gosh, on the cross size again. Nice. Man. It's one of the best ones of the day. Right in the top of the mouth. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that one was coming off. Jeez yeah. Louise, look at his fin. That is weird. That's a gnarly fish. What the heck? He lost all, that's crazy. That's some sort of little bacteria or something. Ugh, wouldn't want to get spined yeah. by that one. <laughs> yeah. But that's awesome, man. Hey. Coosa bass on the cross-size jig. It's been a good day. Heck yeah. That was a Absolute blast, man. man. We caught a lot of fish. A couple good quality ones for this time of year. You can't complain about a 12 pound bag, really. Absolutely. I mean, it's just, yep. That was fun. We did good. Pretty spots. You're a good hard. fisherman. Yeah, man. It was like a good I time. said, all the other guys at Z Man, everything they said about you, it's not Before true. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome.